Right, my honor. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is very exciting. We're in front of Cecil Warden's house. Now, he was taken off the Applebee payroll in 1986 after the gold egg roll scandal. He's been in the recluse for a while, but we're gonna go check him out anyway. What? Cecil? Yeah? The Cecil Warren? Yeah. Hi! I'm Gorilla Filmmaker. I don't want no gorillas! Well, thank you so much for accepting my interview. I, I just want to formally apologize for the events yesterday. There was obviously a breakdown of communication. I'm also sorry I broke your nose. Oh, no. That was not your fault. Now, how did you get into this business that made you so famous? Well, actually, when I was when I was younger, I liked to set tables for my mom when she was cooking that night. I would I'd set it according to what she was making. Say, I could put a salad fork down if we were having salad. Maybe a soup spoon. Maybe two soup spoons. Two soup spoons. And yeah, I just took off from there. It was great. Every day it could be something different. It was, it was like a surprise every dinner. And one day my mom was having some guests over and she suggested I make a menu of what we were having that night. Turned out I was fascinated by it. I loved the menu writing process. I just took it farther than I ever thought. It was, it was beautiful. It was a way for me to release my creative energy that I had left over from school and baseball practice, washing the dog. But yeah, I just, I went on, and, I, and an interesting side note, my brother actually took over for me as the table setter when I was writing menus at Berkeley at the age of 16. Now he has his master's in it, and he's setting tables at the Pentagon. I was actually the first person to put the, the dots between the price of the food and the food itself. It was before people would they'd have to do the old run the finger across from the food to the price and cause for a lot of mishap because people would slide their finger to the wrong price and that was just bad business. So I thought, hey, we could put a, a path of dotted lines to the price. It was, it was great, it was like treasure. Everybody loves treasure. And they've, they've been doing it ever since. Uh, no, no, this is, you can't, this is my idea book, no, no. Wait, what is it? It's my menu writing, I, I write down ideas for menus. But I thought you were out of work, you, you're fired, you're retired. No, you would never, you never retire from the menu writing business. It's, it's just something that keeps going. What's new about it? And I just I got some new ideas I can't really tell you about. Oh, come on, come on. Chili's, they got this new menu coming out. You you can scratch it and you smell the food. It's gonna be huge. Oh God. This is good stuff. It's, it's the future of menu writing. Right there. Menu writing's been around for thousands of years since since the first restaurant opened in 56 BC. It was Silly Marie's Barbecue Kitchen in Rome. Uh, not many people know, but every menu they read is written by a licensed practicing menu writer. Yes, Cecil Warden's faked his own death. Uh, he was constantly disputing with his family about uh, his wealth and fortune, which was uh, pretty minimal. And uh, he was always complaining about the downsides of his fame. Although, you have to remember at the time, he had really only been in one newspaper article and uh, it was about him winning the spelling bee in 1965. Did you fake your own death? Turn, turn the camera off. I, Just turn it off. I, it's gotta be off the record. I, Is it off? Yes. Let me see it. Let me see the camera. 
Uh, I trust you. Okay. I was being hunted by paparazzi. And, and they poked me in the sticks through my windows when I was in the shower. I, I'd watch TV and they would take pictures of me through the TV. And I'd wake up different places and I even started sleeping. I mean, I, it was crazy. I couldn't handle it. I mean, millions of people fake their death every day. Why don't you just go film one of them? I'm sorry. I, I, I was just trying to... Hang on, my phone's ringing. What? Yeah. What, what time is it there? Is this phone ringing? This is, this is my this is my guy from Chili's. Hang on. Alright. What are you what are you trying to say? I know, I know what you're trying to say. It's rhetorical. You don't think I can do the job right. Listen, I can do the job. I've been doing the job. I... I you're, you don't even make sense. You're just talking... No. I, how old are you? All right, listen, Harvey. Screw you. All right? And all your freaking parakeets. All right? Just... Cecil? Cecil? Are you happy? Yeah. Everybody's got their own definition of happiness. Some people are happy being unemployed, washed up, thinking about killing themselves every day. Yes, but are you happy? I mean, I guess I'm happy. You know, I'm happy that I have nothing to live for. I just die at any time and nobody would care. Yeah, I'm happy. <laughs>